GM friends, Anthony from R Drive here to show you how to use R Drive for free with R Connect. To get started, you'll see I've got my R Connect wallet here, account six, no AR. So how am I going to upload to R Drive for free? Simple. Let me just log in here using R Connect. I'll go through these slides. And now we get to the get started page. Your username is just stored locally, doesn't have to be remembered. Your password is for if you have any if you create a private drive. That will serve as double entropy for your data. If you don't create a private drive, you can choose a new password the next time you log into R Drive. So let's get started. I'll create a new drive, make it public, and let's just name this R Drive Test. Click Create. I'll create a just a text file here because any file you upload to R Drive that is under 100 kilobytes can be uploaded for free and that's how we're doing this now. So I'll just make this little text file I'll save it as R Drive test text file. Save that. Go to new upload files there it is you can see there it's 439 bytes. We'll open that. And now it's ready to upload, costing me zero AR, a free upload to our drive. Now I've got this text file getting seeded to the network to be permanently stored forever. Uh, maybe I want to upload a few more though. Let's see, do I have any? Here's a screenshot of the R drive logo, 26 kilobytes, that'll work. You'll see this small transaction is free thanks to Turbo. And boom, there it is. Now I'll just, let me edit this name so at least I know what it is now. Change that to R Drive logo. And rename that. Cool. Um, you know what? Let me upload one more file while I'm at it. Let me see if I have another sub 100 KB. Perfect, 18 kilobytes. This rad almost great dog. Upload this, also free thanks to Turbo. Remember, any files you upload to our drive under 100 KB are free. And just rename this Almost Great Crypto Dog so I know what it is. And there you have it. I've got these three files now pending, so we'll give it some time. And now I come back and my files are available on the permaweb. My text file can't be viewed in the browser, so it offers to download it for me. But my two images are stored forever on the permaweb for free using R Drive. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions.